Hi and good day to ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steven Kin and I'm a third year didactic student from University of Toronto, Malaysia. Today, I'm going to present my study entitled Factors Associated with Consumers' Intention to Purchase Health Foods and Beverages from Vending Machines in a Teaching Hospital. This is the agenda of the day. For today's presentation, I will explain about introductions, objectives, methodology, results and discussion, and lastly, conclusions. So, to begin, let me briefly introduce the background of the research. According to the global research findings, vending machines in healthcare institutions typically offer energy dense and neutral poor foods that are high in added sugars, saturated fats, and sodium, such as confectionery, sugar sweetened beverages, and chips. The overconsumption of these foods has significantly contributed to the population weight gain, increasing the risk of obesity and non communicable diseases such as diabetes hypertension, and cardiovascular diseases. Thus, it is important to increase the availability of healthy foods and beverages in the vending machines. However, a question has come across my mind when I think about this point. Will people in hospitals intend to purchase the healthy options such as granola, yogurt, and sandwiches if they are available in the vending machines? It is significant to know the intention of people to purchase the healthy options because the stronger the intention to purchase, the higher the possibility that the people will purchase. Moreover, the transitions of products in the vending machines may also impact the sales and revenue. Thus, this shows the importance of conducting a study on consumers' purchase intention and the findings could serve as the baseline data for any future intervention on the vending machines. No known studies on consumers' intention to purchase healthful foods and beverages from vending machines in Malaysia induced me to conduct my research on examining factors associated with consumers' intention to purchase healthful foods and beverages from the vending machines in a teaching hospital. In this study, the theory of planned behavior that consists of three constructs, which is attitude, subjective norms, and perceived behavior control was used as the underpinning theory with health consciousness as an additional construct. Next, the result of this study will be analyzed based on the three specific objectives stated here. First, the social demographic characteristics. Second, the level of agreement of the consumers on their attitude, subjective norms, perceived behavior control, health consciousness, and intention to purchase the health of foods and beverages from vending machines, and the most importantly is to determine the association between the four factors with the consumer's intention to purchase. Moving on to the methodology, this study was an online quantitative cross-sectional study conducted in a teaching hospital in Selangor, Malaysia, and the participants are the hospital employees, outpatients, and visitors who are aged 18 years old and above and literate in Malay and English. Patients who are on therapeutic diets, such as oral nutrition supplements and tube feeding, were excluded from the study. And the sample size is 129, and this study applied a purposive sampling. Participants were required to fill in a self-administered survey via Google Form, and there were two sections in the survey, which is Section A is about the social demographics, while Section B is the extended theory of planned behavior questionnaire at which the measurement of this section is 7 points at the scale ranging from 1 equal to strongly disagree to 7 equal to strongly agree. And the data collection was conducted within a month in 2023 and two methods were used to collect data. First was during on-site visits, outpatient and visitors were invited to scan the questionnaire QR code while the second method was via emailing the questionnaire link to the employees. And after collecting the data, all the data was screened before conducting normality tests and a univariate analysis and Pearson correlation was computed using IBM SPSS statistics version 27. Moving on to the results and discussion, at the end of the study, a total of 137 respondents were recruited and the majority of them were young adults aged 18 to 24 years old, women, Malays, tertiary educated, employed, and had used vending machine before in the hospitals. And in terms of the level of agreement, all the respondents on average agreed that 
they intended to purchase healthful foods and beverages from vending machine if they were available in the hospital with a mean ranging from 5.02 to 5.71. And this results aligns with previous research, probably due to most of the respondents being young adults and tertiary educated. Besides, this study also revealed that attitude, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, and health consciousness were significantly positively correlated with consumers' purchase intention, highlighting that perceived behavioral control, which is the consumer's perception of the ability to purchase healthful foods and beverages from the vending machine in the hospital, has the strongest association among all the variables. And this might be due to them being confident in making their own informed decisions, thus they are more likely to engage in desired purchases. And this result was found to be similar with previous research, possibly due to most of the respondents being employed and tertiary educated. To conclude, all the constructs in the extended theory of planned behavior, which were the attitude, subjective norms, perceived behavior control, and health consciousness are the factors that significantly associated with consumers' intention to purchase healthful foods and beverages from vending machines in the teaching hospital. And the management team of the hospital and vending machine retailers could use these findings to understand consumers' purchase intention in order to implement effective health interventions to provide healthy options in vending machines in the hospitals. And these are the references used for the presentation. So I end up this session with a big thank you to all the ladies and gentlemen for your attention, and I wish you to have a nice day.